Anne Woodward is the great granddaughter of Alfred Simpson, an apprentice at Linford and Gardner in Wilbur Street. I've lived in Bishop Auckland all my life and I've lived in Etherley Lane for 71 years. During the war, I was mainly down staying with my grandma and granddad, the one who worked for Linkford and Gardeners. What was Bissa Parkland like when you were growing up? Oh, it was a busy market town when I was growing up, yes. And is it any different now? No comparison. Both sides of the marketplace had stalls and it was opened till late at night. They used to come from all over, Leeds, Bradford. Do you know anything about Linkford and Gardner? Yes, it used to be in Railway Street. Linkford Gardner and Co. opened in 1856 and they mostly worked on repairing the engines for the railway. When did the railway line come to Bishop Auckland? In the first time, the first railway line came to Bishop Auckland on the 9th of April 1842, which is 175 years ago. Why was the railway so important to Bishop Auckland? Because what the railways did, in fact, was link Bishop Auckland into the development of the area, the Industrial Revolution. It allowed coal to be transported and limestone through the town and, in fact, made the town grow much bigger over the years to follow. Once the railways came to Bishop Auckland, the town started to spread south away from the marketplace and moved in this direction towards the railway station and the railway lines. Bishop Auckland in 1842 probably only had a population of three or 4,000 people. Within 50 years of the coming of the railways, the town had a population of 14,000 people. So that's the effect of the railways on Bishop Auckland. Well, this is the original ones, of the ones that worked at Linkford and Gardeners. That, that is my granddad. And that one is my great granddad. They'd both been there, like, from when they left school. Can you tell us what your grandfather did at work? One was an engineer, and the other one was a fitter. I think that was what they did. The 1861 census shows us that Alfred Simpson lived on 56 Newgate Street. It shows us in 1891 that Alfred Simpson was a steam engine fitter, which means he'd obviously been successful in his apprentice. They had to work like what we say, be apprenticed, and they got an indenture. Where did you find the indenture? Well, my nana had a bag with all photographs and that in, and I found it in there. We used to keep it in, in the sideboard. What is an indenture? In its simple terms, an indenture is a formal contract between an employer and a person who comes to work from as an apprentice. What does it tell us about Alfred's life as an apprentice? What it tells us is he actually worked within a fairly strict code. He had long days, at 8 o'clock in the morning till potentially 6 or 8 o'clock at night. He got paid very little as an apprentice, five shillings starting payment, and he, had, he basically had quite a strong list of restrictions about what he could and couldn't do. Alfred could not give away the secrets of his employer's business, so he couldn't talk to people about what his employer did. He couldn't go into local pubs and alehouses. He couldn't play various games. He couldn't gamble, sort of things like dominoes and these sort of games. Alfred was an apprentice for six years, and that's a long time to live by strict rules. This is a typical Victorian house in a terrace, like the one Alfred Simpson used to live in. This is Princess Street, where he lived with his five children and his wife in 1891. So all I can say is, ask your parents about your family and that, because when you get older, it's too late. When I go down to London now, I catch the train at Bishop Auckland. I catch the train at Bishop Auckland, into Darlington, and then on to London. And when they were building the Hitachi plant, when we'd secured this major investment, which is very important to the future, I was on the train and the guard said, they're building Hitachi over there. They're going to be building trains. Trains have come back to us. Our local heritage is absolutely vitally important for our young people's future. We need to build on it.
I've enjoyed learning about my local history because I didn't really know anything about it. And it's been like interesting learning about all Linford and Gardner and the trains and about Alfred Simpson's life. I enjoyed dressing up as Alfred Simpson. <laughs> what most surprised you? That when he was 12, he got he had to sign like for an indenture. I didn't really know what an indenture was to start off with. Then you had to do one when you were like 12 year old. It surprised me that at that young age you had to like still work. I was surprised how much knowledge Anne Woodward had. The great granddaughter of Alfred Simpson told us things that we wouldn't find in a history book because she had the experience. Thank you everyone who helped us with this project. We really appreciate your help.